Hey everybody, another year, another camera gear video. This is all of the gear that I am using for 2023 and I recorded on this channel instead of my California channel. This is where I get asked the most about what kind of gear I use. Let's jump into it. First up, let's talk about bags. These are the two bags I use. This is my Peak Designs bag. This is what I use every time I'm traveling or doing any day trips. I can put my camera, I can put a couple lenses, a couple accessories very easily in this. I like the way that it looks. I've been using these for probably five or six years now and I still love this bag. It's the one I buy every time I break it or I need a new one. Second, this is my Low Pro bag, which is what I use every time I'm traveling for a longer trip. I can put basically everything in here from my computer to my camera and lenses, my drone, everything fits in this bad boy. Plus I'll just take it on as my carry on on the plane. It's incredibly heavy to carry all this gear. But then once I get to a destination, I usually bring my other backpack because that's the one that I use for a day trip since this one's not too nice to carry around during the day, but it's great for carrying a lot of gear on a longer trip. Next up, my camera. I've been using Sony cameras for five or six years now. This is an older one that I have, but I've been using the Sony 7 IV all of last year, and I'll probably use that all of this year as well. It's a great hybrid camera where it has good photos and good video. It shoots 4K, it shoots slow-mo, shoots basically all of the things I need to be able to make my road trip videos and my state park videos. And I also love that it's really good for photography as well. Last year I was using the Sony a7S III a little bit, and that camera is amazing for video, but I didn't really like the quality of the photos as much. And since I'm more of a hybrid shooter that does photos and video, I upgraded to the a7 IV, and I've been really happy with that camera. In terms of lenses, I basically use two main lenses all the time. I have a 16 to 35 f2.8, which I just upgraded to. It's an expensive lens, but I just bought it last year after six years of shooting videos. That's what I use for pretty much every single one of my videos. And then I also have this 24 to 105 f4. This is what comes with me in my bag every time I'm doing any type of travel because you never know when you might want a little bit more zoom and it's not too heavy or anything so it always goes with me in my day pack then depending on what i'm doing i'll use this 12 to 24 ultra wide angle lens that you've heard me talk about before i'll use this if i'm going to the redwoods or something that requires that really big field of view because this thing is wide and it has a fisheye on the front i love this lens but it's a little bit weird to use all the time so i only use it for special occasions then i also have this 100 to 400 Sigma lens. This thing is a crazy zoom lens. They can get really close to subjects. It's not as expensive as the Sony lens and I've been really happy with this. I've had this for a couple years now. So anytime I'm shooting wildlife or shooting something that's really far away, I make sure that this is in my bag. These two are not all the time lenses, so they only go with me if I really need them, but I love having the versatility that they both provide. Next up for my drone, I've been using the DJI Mini 3 Pro. This is basically my favorite drone I've had in a long time because it's incredibly small and lightweight. It easily fits in that bag and it has a good battery life. It does well in the wind for how small it is and it shoots 4K video. Plus you can buy this controller, which I love because it has a screen on it. I used to have to take my phone out of the case and connect it to the drone and do all of that before I could fly. But now with this controller, I can literally just take it out, turn both of them on, and I'm flying quickly, which is important when I'm making all these videos and I don't have as much time as I need for it. So these two things are incredible for drone video, and I've got a lot of cool stuff with this over the last few years. I do have a couple other small cameras that I use. The first is the GoPro. I only use this if I'm doing anything that's water related, but if I'm going whitewater rafting, or I'm going swimming, or scuba diving, or snorkeling, I will always bring the GoPro with me as it just works great underwater and it gives you that really cool underwater video. Next, I have the 360 camera. This is the Insta360 ONE X2. I don't use this as much as I should probably just because the editing process takes a lot longer and when I'm making these two hour road trip videos, it's a little bit hard to want to also produce you know, 360 shots that I can put into it. But I've started to use it a little bit more because it does capture some incredible stuff, especially like the Angels Landing video that I did earlier this year, it was really cool to be able to see this 360 camera. Then I have my phone and everybody talks about how you can use the phone to shoot, but I honestly do use my phone a lot for shooting. It's just really easy to be able to take it out, hold it out like this, get a quick shot, or you can zoom in with it or do ultra wide. So 
This gets used in a lot of my videos, especially when I don't want to bring in my big camera, you know, if I'm going into a restaurant or something like that. And then I also have this Peak Designs case, which is the same company that makes that bag. And it's really cool because it magnetizes onto this tripod mount right here. So it kind of clips in. It's really, really, really safe. It's not going to fall off or anything. You actually have to unlock it in order to take it off. So I use that a lot if I want to shoot a time lapse or something like that. I just clip it in and then I just shoot the time lapse with my phone and then I take it off when I'm done. So the phone is a really great thing to use and if you have you know, a phone that shoots 4K, you should definitely be using it to make some of your videos. Next up for microphones, I use this Rode Video Micro, little small mic on top of my camera, especially if it's windy. And then I used to just use in-camera audio all the time, but I'm trying out this DJI mic set. So it has two mics um, so I can mic up myself and my dad when we're on road trips. That's what I'm using right now that you can see right here. I haven't used it too much yet, but when I have used it, I've actually really enjoyed it. So I think I'll probably use it more in the future as it's a lot easier to capture people talking, especially when you have two people. Lastly, I just wanted to go through a couple accessories. I talk about this every single time I make a video, but this is the Peak Designs capture clip. As you can see, I love Peak Design stuff. I, I wish they'd sponsor me, but I bought everything that you see here. Um, this clips right in so you can hold your camera right here. It's great for hiking, for backpacking, for those longer trips where you want easy access to your camera, but you don't want to have to actually take it out of your bag and then back and forth. You can just put it right here, put it on your shoulder, and then it's easy access. Also, I have lots of these selfie sticks and different things like this so I can get good shots from far away or I can use the 360 camera on it. I also use these little blower things all the time because when I'm changing my lenses in the middle of you know, a windstorm or whatever, you get lots of dust on them and you gotta be able to get it off. So I use that and it's always in my bag. And then I have lots of different mounts for my GoPro. This one I like the most, it's a magnetic mount but it also clips on. So you can clip it onto things but you can also use it as a magnet. So yeah, I think that's basically it for my gear. I honestly don't use a ton of gear on my travels. I try to stay as light as I possibly can because you see we run and gun. We do these big videos where we're spending a week traveling to tons of locations. So I don't really ever set up a tripod or anything. I'm handheld basically all the time and I try to keep my gear to a minimum. If you have any questions on gear though, be sure to drop those in the comments. I love talking about gear. So I'm always down to answer questions. And if you wanna see the gear that I travel with or even the gear that we use when we're traveling with the twins let me know and maybe we'll make another video on that in the future thanks so much for watching and for supporting me over the last few years it means a ton to me i love that you guys want to talk about gear with me and that you're enjoying the road trips that we're doing hopefully you'll enjoy all the stuff we're going to do in 2023 as well we'll see you on the next video